When I started playing GT Sport, the first thing that stuck out to me in the menus was, why am I hearing this? Je ne veux pas travailler. Je ne veux pas déjeuner. Je veux seulement oublier. Et puis, je fume. Déjà, j'ai connu le parfum de l'amour. Un million de roses ne m'aimerait pas autant. I'm in the menus and this song comes on and I'm like, wait, 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 is something wrong? Did I not? What game am I playing? But no, this is just straight up one of the tracks that plays when you're playing GT Sport, a racing simulator. I was so confused because while this is something that, you know, comes on and to me, I'm like, oh wow, this is really nice. I like this a lot. It's not exactly something I would expect to hear in a racing simulator. It's so strange to even be breaking this down, but here we are talking about the soundtrack to a racing simulator. But, uh, check it out. It's really nice. <laughs> We're in the key of F and um, very simply, it's just. Not what you'd expect to hear, but really nice nonetheless. Je ne veux pas travailler, je ne veux pas déjeuner, je veux seulement oublier, et puis je fume. Je ne suis pas oh. fier de sa vie qui veut me tuer. C'est magnifique oh. être sympa. Ah, that was cool. So our, our bridge is minor four, uh, just one. And then we go, I think it's a five one. G half diminished to the five chord, leading back into. Je ne veux pas travailler, non, je ne veux pas déjeuner. Je veux seulement oublier, et puis je fume. Ah! a racing simulator. This is not exactly the thing that I would expect. But, you know, I thought maybe there's some reason for this. I don't know, maybe it's like a, a fluke or something. And so I went, I did my race, probably didn't win, and then went back to the menu and we get this.
not what I'm expecting to hear in a racing simulator, but I'll take it. Pleasantly surprised. The Latin Afro-Cuban thing is just like, a lot of times you'll just get two chords. I mean, this is all this is. Two chords, one, five, one, five, one, five, minor key. You know what? And it's, it's amazing stuff to play around with and to be able to improvise over because you have this solid palette that's just sitting there and it's just asking to be, you know, oh, explore different things like play the chords, play not the chords, play other things, just kind of mess around with it. You can, you can just do so much ex exploration and it's just some of the most fun music to play on, some of the most fun music to listen to. Try to listen to this stuff without wanting to dance. I mean, without moving, it's like impossible. This particular uh, track has the added like sort of kick drum to kind of give it more of like a dance club kind of feel, which is, you know, it's cool. What fun this stuff is to just play around with. And again, I thought, all right, well, this is interesting. There's unexpected music choices going on here in the menus, but uh, I'm sure it must just be, I don't know. I don't know if that's, am I in some different mode or something? Like what's going on? So I go and do my race, lose again, come back and hear this. Okay, what's going on here? Interesting. And then... <laughs> what? Oh my god. To snap myself, I was like, is this, is this, is this happen? Like, is this real? Is this really what the soundtrack is? Come to find out, and I know a lot of you guys know this, if you go back into the history of the franchise, the music has always been a notable part of the Gran Turismo series. And you go back to some of the earlier things and there's all kinds of, of stuff in there where you're like, oh wow, this is unexpectedly good for a racing game. Some very in tune listener here points out the lick. synthesizers aside. Wow! To have a game series that utilizes music that I don't think you can reasonably say you'd expect in a racing simulator. It's just super cool. I mean, when you open up ACC, it sounds like this. That's way more along the lines of what I would expect to hear. I mean, Project Cars, same kind of deal. Check it out. Great music, but way more along the lines of what I expect to hear if I'm playing a racing game. All this to say, the Gran Turismo series has some incredible music, and I just think it adds to the charm of the series. It adds to what makes it so great, in addition to it being an incredible simulator. If you've never played GT Sport and you like racing games of any kind, get yourself a wheel and pedals and play because it's great. And it's one of the best, most organized online racing environments. I would say it's it's GT Sport is, pro is, is it the biggest? iRacing is up there. I racing is another huge one. A GT Sport might be bigger. And then, you know, ACC is another big one as well. But like, in terms of organized online competition, they're fantastic games. So if you've never tried it and you want to, definitely check it out. If for nothing else, than to check out the incredible music that has been a part of the GT franchise since its inception, which is incredibly impressive and so cool to see. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite tracks from any of the Gran Turismo games are. Do you like some of the earlier stuff? Is the GT Sport soundtrack kind of more your game? I'm curious what your favorites are, so let me know in those comments down below. That's it, that's gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching and humoring my, my geek out session about uh, racing games. Thanks for taking the time, I appreciate you, and we will see you in the next video.